the continuity of character. I love that all the way through. Well, Meryl Davis and Charlie White are the first and the only American ice dancers to win a world title. In fact, the only team they've lost to in the past four seasons are their training partners, Virtue and Moyer. And uh, Meryl and Charlie have the best scores of either of the teams this season, but this is the first head-to-head -head meeting and our first chance to see who has a leg up as we look ahead to the Worlds in London, Ontario in March. Skating to selections from Notre Dame to Paris. The story of the hunchback of Notre Dame and the beautiful Esmeralda. Davison White with a shot here at a fourth straight Grand Prix final title, and it would be the first time that has ever happened at the Grand Prix final in any discipline. And oh my goodness, they laid it down yesterday.
yet again the best I've seen of them, no question, this season. I thought she looked more relaxed, more in the moment, more confident than I've seen this season. Well, I'd say two or three years ago that her moves looked more planned, and now they looked more organic and in the moment. I agree with you totally. They keep their speed up. I think that's their secret weapon, is their speed. Yeah, and you can look at, they, they have more crossovers. They um, unapologetically go after the their speed. speed, where virtue and Moyer dance it and refine it a little bit more. What I like about their skating and their, their coach and choreographer, Marina Zueba, they're, yeah. It's like no their blades yeah. have teeth. They're very aggressive with the blade and they just get right into the ice and, and go after it. And, it. and it gives a great energy. There's something you said about uh, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer about how they get on the ice each year and recreate new lifts. And I think that although may not make as much sense to win, it's really something I respect. And then you see this couple do one of their patented lifts that you've seen before, but in a way you're excited to see it again. So I'm not sure what's the best, but I sure respect the fact that they try and come up with something new. They need a score of 106.64 to move ahead of the Canadians, and that's well within their reach. Here's a look at their twizzle section there, and they're watching the blades as they carve the edges on the ice, part of their footwork sequence. But take nothing away from their skating, I still am kind of get hung up on the story that they're trying to sell, and, um, and they're just not the right couple for that story, I believe. So, like I've done before, I forget the story. Mm -hmm. and, and I love it so much more. Beautiful piece the of story music. The story for me gets in the way. He's just not ugly enough. And they've got more than 106, 110.19, a new season's best score, and that gives them their fourth straight Grand Prix wow. final title. Amazing. So it will be disappointment, though, for the Canadians, Virtue and Moyer. They will wind up once again in second place at this event, the only big prize that has eluded this Canadian team.